Hey guys, Dan the Man 92 back in with another video for you guys. Today's video, I'll show you a little toolbox tour since I got some new tools recently. Moved a couple things around, so let's see what I got. First things first, as you know, we have my Bauer, what size is this? Six inch bench grinder with stand and then a couple other uh, Another grinding wheel and then a polishing wheel down there, some compound. And we have the Chicago Electric Flux 125 welder. And then just a bunch of my welding stuff. I also have this Bauer corded grinder and some other attachments for it down there. I have my central machinery, five speed drill press. I also have my vise down there. My wooden mallet that I made in a video. <clears throat> also have all my drill bits and then other drilling devices. Uh, some holders for when I solder, uh, soldering wire, some uh, wood glue, torch, some wood planes, all my wonderful assortment of chargers brush, uh, what's that, a uh, cock gun holder, a uh, hand drill, rubber, couple rubber mallets, a couple other hammers, I have another slide pick, I have this little uh, metal hammer that I made, which I still need to fix and make look better. I have some clamps, some safety glasses, my great grandpa's hammer, some bowling pins, some trophies, uh, let's see, what do I have down here? Just some clamps, some levels. Have my uh, air die grinder down there, tape measure. Uh, let's see, the radiator pressure test kit, oxygen sensor sockets in the red case, torque sticks in the blue, slide hammer right there. <clears throat> and then tap and die on the top. My uh, Harbor Freight sliding compound miter saw. My Pittsburgh half inch torque wrench. Files, punches, wire brushes, extra ground clamp, uh, cheap slide pick. I think. Uh, I think I said chisels. Paintbrush, uh, old piece of <clears throat> an anvil to a uh, 3 8 impact wrench, uh, calipers, more safety glasses. This is all electrical stuff. Uh, I have different terminal sets, uh, shrink tubing. Stud finder. Not sure why I have hot glue in there, but I have hot glue in there. <clears throat> Just some different testers right here. Some electrical tape. Some crimpers. Sharpie. Different leads. Uh, heat gun. It's more like a craft heat gun, but I've used it. And it works. I used it in a video about removing, was it stuck on magnets and bumper stickers from a car. <clears throat> have uh, two magnetic trays right there. Have a Harbor Freight bottle opener, inspection mirror. It's tools for opening up paint cans. My uh, Milwaukee flashlight I just got. In back is all my half-inch impact sockets, uh, three-eighths impact sockets, um, swivel impact sockets. This is my Vim Stubby Torx set. I have a what is it? standard and metric quarter-inch sockets from Icon. My nice selection of 10 millimeter sockets, uh, Torx. Allen's, more Allen's, and some regular uh, Phillips and slotted. Uh, 
these are three eighths uh, universal metric quarter inch metric. These ones are just uh, universal sockets. On these trays, those were the socket, uh, universal sockets that I had, but I put them in my car. Over here I have an assortment of wrenches. I'm, wow, not wrenches, screwdrivers. Also have a half inch, three eighths breaker bar and an adjustable um, pry bar. In this drawer, I have some extensions. I have a gear wrench, little thumb ratchet. Crap, uh, wow. Arbor Freight, quarter inch ratchet. Husky quarter inch, Icon quarter inch flex. Cobalt three eighths, Craftsman USA three eighths. Uh, Pittsburgh three eighths, another Pittsburgh one. Husky locking flex head three eighths. Really like this one. It's probably my go to three eighths one. I really like it. Uh, cobalt half inch, Craftsman USA half inch. My Pittsburgh long flex head and all the extensions. I think I already said that. Over here, I have like the, my bits. I have the Warrior Compact Coilless Screwdriver Set. Really like this. I've used this quite a few times. I really like that. Uh, speed out, uh, screw extractors, the good set of bits from Walmart, other smaller screwdrivers, other bits, and then just the extensions to like put in a drill or impact driver. Have these impact driver to quarter inch threes and half inch drives. I like these. My Harbor Freight 100 piece security bit set. My gear wrench. I'll take this out. I don't think I've shown you guys this in a while. This is the uh, ratcheting screwdriver set. Comes with all these bits. This one's a slight flex to it, but works. This drawer, nothing, nothing too much has changed. So uh, the pipe wrench. These are the assembly pliers. Have a old Ford wrench that I plan on restoring at some point. Not quite sure when, but soon, hopefully. Uh, tin snips, Craftsman. These are I showed these in. My most recent video, these are the Eagle Claw. E yeah, it's called the Eagle Claw wrench. Pretty cool. Uh, adjustable wrench that I'm going to restore. Oil filter wrench. Slip joint pliers. Snap ring pliers. This plastic pin removal. Pliers right there. Uh, yeah. Same thing, just different style. Small vice groups. And I have my miniature pliers right here. Oh, I forgot. I forgot this. These are my impact 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 adapters wow if only i could speak so and then another oil filter wrench right there wow did i say i'm out of it did 
Did I say these were an oil filter wrench? I meant these are oil filter pliers. We're here, nothing too much has actually, nothing's changed. Still have my gear wrench, ratcheting wrenches there. My Pittsburgh right there. These are all standard metric. I have this one I welded together. That way it's three quarters and 11 sixteenths. Just because these are the two sizes that I needed at work, but I ended up uh, not using this at work. And these are the other two ends to it. Chromanadium. These are the Pittsburgh cheap brand. It is was. And then same thing. Pittsburgh. Gear wrench. Pittsburgh. Bondus Allen key set. Husky Allen key set. These were the wrenches for my couple air tools I have. In the big money drawer. I have my Hercules 12 volt screwdriver. Quarter inch impact wrench. I love that thing. It's tiny. It works. And it's pretty powerful for the size. And I have my Bauer. Uh, quarter inch impact driver. Bauer 3 8 impact wrench. This is my Bauer 4 volt uh, screwdriver. I actually used this the other day too. I like it. Uh, my new Milwaukee oscillating tool. Milwaukee hacksaw. My Milwaukee uh, impact driver. My Milwaukee 3 8 drill. My DeWalt drill, which is this three eighths or half inch? Let's see. Let's look together. Half inch. Perfect. So I have a three eighths and half inch drill. Okay. And I have my 1.5 batteries for the Milwaukee. This one is two amp hour. Let's see. What's this one? Does it say? 1.5 amp hour. I have two of those. And then the Bauer is 1.5. So I have a little assortment. Plan on getting bigger ones soon. And then I have my attachments for the oscillating tool. Some people might wonder why I have so many different brands of battery power tools. Answer is simply, why not? I like a variety of stuff. I do plan on getting a lot more of each of them. Some people might be like, why the Harbor Freight ones suck and this and that, go with Milwaukee, go with DeWalt. Well, I like a variety. If I want something cheap that I don't really care that much about, I'm gonna go with Hercules or the Bauer. Like if it's something I might only use like once or twice, why spend the money on like Milwaukee or DeWalt. If I want something that I know I'm going to be using quite a bit, I will spend the money on Milwaukee and DeWalt. I realize I need to get some more DeWalt stuff just to keep up with everything else. But Then down below I have my couple saws. I have a battery pressure, uh, battery load tester. I have a staple gun, rubber mallet. I have a skill saw back there, some knee pads, tool belt, and some gloves. And also this little uh, moving dolly. Use that quite a bit. And something fell behind there, I'm not quite sure what. And I also have a tire. And then I have some uh, cleaning supplies for my car. Also have some. Bondo, body filler, uh, applicators. Have an assortment of nuts and bolts. Just random screws, small nails, bigger screws. 
But yeah, that's about it. Anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button. Also, subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Thank you very much. Have a great day, everyone.